we like made it look like a real cooking show or something. Today on Sean's cooking show, we're going to be making pizza. First we're going to make the dough of course, then we're going to put pizza sauce on the pizza. Then we're going to put cheese on the sauce and then we're going to put toppings on the cheese. I will measure out all the ingredients she's recording and you can just like record one of the you can like get a shot of the bowl and just like power I mean flour <laughs> flour power this is flour flour and it's sp I spun it so now I'm gonna put br brown flour with the white flour because we don't discriminate and this is salt oh uh, this is oh these are leaves oh there's two two leaves okay all right and that's more salt is that white salt now or is that sugars oh, those are sugars okay okay and now we've got some oh powder These are, these are wheat flowers. They don't smell like normal flowers. They're bitter because of systemic racism. I was supposed to do six and three quarter teaspoons. I think I put six, I think. I'll put another one. So first thing I'm gonna do is combine all of the dry ingredients. To a bowl. And uh, I'm going to do it outside of the mixing bowl because you want to have the water in the mixing bowl first. And our last ingredient, a smile. Bowl. Tablespoons in a cup. 16. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Oh. Six, quarter, six quarter cups of water. How many quarter cups is that? Don't play with your food, but the but the you sometimes you have to for science. Now we only have three ingredients for the pizza. There's the water. We're gonna mix the water for two minutes. <laughs> We're gonna put all the dry ingredients on top of the water. Oh, oopsie. There's all the dry ingredients. They're in the bowl. Oh, now. We're gonna mix it on low for one minute. We're gonna disperse it evenly over the whole crop. The whole entire, did I measure the water? Three quarters of a cup times three is six quarters of a cup, yeah? That's nine quarters of a cup. I still need a whole other three quarters of a cup of water in here. That's why it looks so dry. Don't do the oil yet. <laughs> It's been a minute. Look at that. The timer's going off. Right on time. You can always count on that to tell time. Alright, oil getting evenly distributed. You want to get really personal and close with your machine because if you take, if you take care of it, it's going to take care of you.
taken the dough out of the bowl here, as you can see, it is no longer in the bowl. Pre-portion it so that we have one dough ball. This is a dough ball. See, I'm pinching everything into the bottom, making it nice and smooth on top. Making it nice and smooth on top. Now it's like a jellyfish. We're going to jam the legs into the body of the jellyfish. Hey Google, what's 55 divided by 3? The answer is approximately 18.333333. How many threes was that? 18.333. Remember, we're cutting it, not pulling it. So I'm going to maintain the integrity of those gluten fibers in there. That's an 18.25 right there, folks. 17.65. Now, we're going to make these each into individual dough. Uh, first, we're going to oil the bowls. I forgot to oil the bowls. Cut. So obviously, these bowls are like pretty excessive for the size of the dough ball here. But I'm not one to restrict the growth process of a dough ball or a child or a puppy. I'm making the dough balls here. Uh, the technique for that I can explain in a later clip or it might be previous. I'm not sure at this point. We haven't edited. <clears throat> so the technique for forming these into balls, dough balls, the bottom side, if it's been sitting on the counter, is going to be nice and smooth and soft. So you're going to fold that up to the top, right? And you're going to pull this stuff down like that. See, it's like a little taco. Your tacos crystal together. And we're going to do that again, 90 degrees the other way. See, now it's kind of coming together. It's still ugly. That's when we take our giant hands, because we all have giant hands. Squish all that down to that jellyfish shape I was showing you earlier. And nice and smooth. And then we're going to squish that in to the bottom. And then throw it in the bowl like that. See nice little circular, smooth, flat things. They're going to grow and expand and uh, not have sharp edges. Like me. Actually, first we're going to put oil, oil on top of the balls here, make it nice and uh, moisturized. Keep that uh, moisture inside the ball. Back on the street, to my time, took my chances. Pull the flash scrap out of the box, out the box, like this in one smooth motion because you're a smooth man. How do you do this? <laughs> sit in the fridge for a little bit to cool it down so it proofs slower. But are we skipping that to bring stage? The flavor. Uh, no, yeah, because we gotta eat. It's like 8 o'clock. As you can see, when we've removed the dough from the refrigerator, it has massively expanded. And We're putting flour down underneath dough on the counter. All right, so the bottom of the dough ball, it's uh, is gonna be is gonna be the part of the pizza that is the top, where the toppings and sauce and cheese can go on that. That's gonna be the top of the pizza. Okay, so we're gonna start with the top of the dough ball, which is the bottom of the pizza. We're gonna uh, this next part and all this, what I'm calling docking with my fine fingers, is uh, kind of getting rid of the excess air in it. Okay, 
So I'm gonna make the crust here. So what you're gonna do is line your fingers up like this. So you've got four in a row, it's like a line, see that? Look how perfect that line, you can even make curves with it, it's very flexible. And so we're gonna make the pizza crust out of those four fingers, okay? Uh, what I always say is make it roughly between the size of a pencil and a Sharpie marker. So dock a little bit in there too, not quite as much as the outside, make sure the outside. And you're gonna pick it up on your hand, and the important thing is to not go like this, but to go like this, because these poke holes in the pizza, these don't. It's a bigger thing, so it doesn't poke as hard. You're gonna slap it 90 degrees onto the other hand, okay? And you put it down. I'm gonna do a little bit more, because it's not big enough yet. How do you make the sauce? How do you make the sauce? Look it up online. What is this? What am I, Google? Uh, one important thing about the sauce is you want it to be room temperature so it doesn't slow down the baking of your pizza, all right? You want to put that dollop of sauce right in the middle, take that spoodle slash ladle and swing it around in a cycle. Bring that sauce out to the edge. Don't put it all the way up on the crust. One important element of making a pizza is to uh, make sure the cheese is anchored to the crust, like a boat. Um, so you want to leave a little gap here between the crust, but not on the crust. You can put it on the crust if you want to. It's not going to hurt anything. But make sure there's cheese all the way around in here. It's going to seal the. It's going to make the cheese bond to the crust, and not just all be floating on this lake of sauce. Because when you cut it, you ever cut a homemade pizza and the cheese kind of goes and slides into the middle and you just keep cutting it and it goes away from the edge and you just got like this giant chunk of pizza at the end that has no cheese on it. That's why you want that cheese there to anchor it to the crust. Now you can see the pizza, I mean the oven, is set to 450 degrees. We're gonna wait till we smell the cheese. Did that sound authentic? It's pizza time. <laughs> Practice makes, and then we'll zoom out. And everybody standing there and goes. Pizza! Remember, kids, if you're having trouble the first time, practice always makes pizza.